Hey, this is your last week, uh, week eight, as we think through the um, whole section of the New Testament. As we come to the close, we want to understand that that the Bible is one story. And with that fact is that the stories are connecting together from Genesis all the way to the book of Revelation. And so as we studied last week, um, the book of Acts, we saw it as a hinge um, section between what the Gospels were communicating by Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and then ultimately um, the epistles. So it's that kind of a, a pivot point for the New Testament and our understanding of how the church uh, was working, how the power of the Holy Spirit came upon um, men and women, and they went boldly into synagogues, went boldly into the marketplace to proclaim the truth about God. And so it is even with us. We uh, have a story to share. Um, like the early apostles and believers, they shared a story. And they were able to connect the dots, and at other times people accepted, and at other times people rejected the message. We can see um, those firsthand in the book of Acts where uh, uh, Paul and, and Silas and uh, Peter are dragged and beaten and put in prison, and the church comes together to pray and to um, ask God to release them. And Paul also recounts the times he was shipwrecked and went without food, and he had... Um, uh, times of of, uh, of not having sheltered, and he even says that he worked with his own hands because he didn't want anyone to judge him or say he was was, uh, was taking advantage of the of the church. And so he had a vocation, and he made tents, and that's where we get the word tent maker um, that people use today. And so when we think about um, the Old Testament, it is a story connecting us to the new, and that story is woven together through uh, a uh, through the fabrics of time, setting, history, and each of the books have a theological um, direction that they are going. But ultimately, that theological direction is to God. And so as we close week eight, um, this last section, um, as we look at the epistles and the end of uh, the book of Revelation, is this whole idea that Christ shall reign, his kingdom shall uh, advance and um, as we, the church, uh, do our work in gospel advancement, we are sharing this story, um, this beautiful story that um, connects people to Christ. And so as you look at the epistles um, and you begin to evaluate the epistles after the book of Acts, it is all pointing to the gospel, this redemptive work of Christ um, for the world. And this redemption is what... Uh, unites uh, people to uh, the Lord himself. And if you don't know the gospel, if you don't know Christ, then you are exempted from uh, his family and ultimately from participation in the kingdom to come. And though we know that this glorious kingdom to come is, is one to be, uh, to be looking forward to. We know it is not yet. Uh, it is in the future. And one day uh, we will see the full expression of that um, um, as we await uh, Christ's uh, future reign. So as we close this week, um, you have up until Tuesday to finish your final project. You should um, be thinking about the audience that you selected early on. Uh, you should write toward that end. Um, so you may have to adjust some of your language, depending on the group that you um, selected. And then make that adjustment. Um, be, a, be creative within the limits of um, of this project as well. If you're trying to do a sermon, I'm going to honor the creativity behind that. You can use first-person narrative or first-person um, uh, pronouns as needed. But again, cite your sources as best as you can. Have a work cited at the close of the project, and then get that by Tuesday, and I uh, will grade it, get it back to you by the end of the week, and upload and finalize your, your um, final grade uh, to the class. It was a pleasure serving you. It was a pleasure helping you get to understand the story and structure of Scripture. And I hope this will become a foundational course for you in the future as you study as a student. And maybe it will even um, reinforce some early um, skills you learned in this class through observation, interpretation, and even trying to correlate or bring together some other passages such as cross-referencing. But, but I think lastly is to apply the Scripture in your life, make those principles um, stick with you and make those um, next step changes that you need to do in both in your Bible study and your personal devotional time um, in your walk with the Lord. Again, great to have meet you by electronic format. 
and uh, some of you have I was able to uh, Skype with. Um, some of you connected with me on Facebook, which is great. So I'm thankful for that, and uh, Lord's blessing to you.